So today I'm going to show you the process and recipe I use to make my own homemade root beer. There are only a few ingredients and the process takes just a couple of minutes. As far as the actual ingredients you need, uh, you simply need some active dry yeast, some root beer concentrate, I have the McCormick's brand which most stores will carry, and also just plain white sugar. As far as the supplies you'll need to make your own homemade root beer, uh, you will need a 2 liter bottle, plastic bottle that I've just repurposed here, a funnel for filling that bottle with the ingredients, and then a few things to measure your ingredients with. So I have a one cup measuring cup, and then also a one tablespoon and a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add the dry ingredients to the two liter bottle, uh, and that's where the, the funnel comes in. So. Go ahead and add that full cup of sugar in. And then once you add that, you also add that quarter teaspoon of your active dry yeast. And once those are in there, I think it's a good idea to actually mix them up while they're dry before you add any of your wet ingredients. And also keep in mind that there is a real fermentation process going on involving the sugar and the yeast. So this does have an actual true alcohol content to it. It's not a lot, but there is real alcohol in this once it ferments. So now that the dry ingredients are added and mixed, we'll go ahead and add the liquid ingredients. And we'll start with the actual uh, root beer concentrate. Um, the recipe calls for one full tablespoon of this, so we'll go ahead and add that in. And the funnel, again, is helpful for this. And then as far as the water, uh, I believe it is beneficial to use warm water that helps to activate the yeast. So I usually start with about two cups of warm tap water. And at this point I will also mix this again. Uh, the mixing is more efficient with uh, some air in there. If you put all of your water in there, uh, you won't get a good mixing action. So I usually turn and make sure all the ingredients are well mixed. So I've added the remaining water to within a, a few inches of the top. Uh, you don't want to overfill it. It might explode on you when it is fermenting. So again, give it, turn it over and mix it up a few times to make sure all the sugar and the yeast are dissolved and not setting on the bottom of your bottle. Uh, so that's basically it. I have all my ingredients in here. They're all mixed. Now it's just a matter of waiting. I usually wait uh, about four or five days to, for the uh, fermentation to take place and then pour it over some ice and you've got your own homemade root beer.